Delivering a conference presentation is a career milestone, and this PD Bytes mini tutorial from Educause contains important tips to help you make the most out of this outstanding professional development opportunity. Today we'll cover how to find conference and session specific logistical information that you will need to know. We'll also cover where to find valuable resources to support every stage of the presentation experience. So let's get started. To find everything you need to know about speaking at your specific conference, you will need to go to the Speaker Information section of the conference webpage. You can get to the conference page many different ways, but one of the easiest is to go to the Educause Event Finder and search for an event or scroll through a list of upcoming events. Let's take a look at the 2013 Mid-Atlantic Regional Conference. Educause conference web pages will change based upon where we are in the conference cycle. Once the program committee has reviewed proposals and speakers have accepted the invitation to present, the agenda and speaker information pages go live. Before going to the speaker information page, the first thing you should do is take a look at the agenda page to confirm that the title and abstract for your session are accurate. We also recommend that you revisit your session description while you write your presentation to make sure that it matches how it is described. Conference participants are frustrated when they attend sessions that turn out to be different than expected based upon the program abstract. The next thing that you should do is ensure that you have completed your Educause profile so conference attendees can check out your background and experience as it relates to the topic. In a moment, we will show you where to find another PD Byte mini tutorial called The Power of Your Educause Profile, which explains all the ins and outs of making a great Educause profile. Your session web page is very important because it markets your session to conference participants. So we hope you put some time into making sure it is accurate and that it projects the image that you want it to make. To make your session even more attractive and helpful to your attendees, we will talk about adding your own resources to this page in a moment. Now that you know where your session falls in the program and that the title and abstract and speaker biographies are all accurate, let's take a look at the logistical information that you need to know about the conference and your session. You can find that on the Speaker Information tab on the conference web page. The Speaker Information page will feature the important deadlines you need to know. All speakers have to register for the conference and make their own travel arrangements, so we make sure you are aware of the early registration cutoff. Use the Hotel and Travel tab to find out more about the conference hotel discounts, cutoff dates, and the online reservation link. The Speaker Information page is formatted like an FAQ page, with each question having a Show More and Show Less toggle. It starts with general speaker information, including a description of session types for this particular conference. Be sure to review the description for your session type just to make sure that it matches. You can also find a link to the optional PowerPoint template for the conference and information on how to upload resources to your session web page. Attendees really appreciate the opportunity to review your slides or to have access to links and documents and supporting material. Plus, everything you upload to your session web page will be archived in the conference proceedings for years to come. The next section covers information for concurrent session presenters. These are sessions of all types except poster sessions. You can find out about how your room will be arranged, audio-visual equipment and internet access that will be available in the room, and a reminder that you must register for the conference. Poster sessions are featured at nearly every Educause conference. This section will tell poster presenters what to expect and provides excellent links with advice and examples and best practices for conference posters. You can find out what your area will include, such as a skirted table and poster boards. If you plan to bring a laptop, be sure it is powered up because most poster presentation areas do not have power available. Wireless Internet is, however, available throughout all the Educause conference areas and will always be available to poster presenters. We will also provide the dates and times to set up and tear down your poster display and information should you want to ship your poster materials. Now that you have found out the specific logistics-related information about presenting your session, we want you to know that Educause has a lot of great resources to help you put your session together, and you can find them on the Educause Speaker Concierge webpage. 
The Speaker Concierge service is designed to help EDUCAUSE members navigate the entire conference presentation lifecycle. From writing a proposal, to designing, delivering, and promoting your presentation, to facilitating discussions and engaging your audience, to leveraging the work you put into your session into other professional development activities. You can get to the Speaker Concierge from nearly every EDUCAUSE webpage by simply going to the permanent footer area of the website. If you are listening to this PD Byte tutorial, it is safe to assume you are somewhere in the process of designing or preparing to deliver your session. So we want to make sure you know that the Speaker Concierge resources are organized for face-to-face, -face, online, and poster session presentations. And no matter what type of presentation you are giving, you will benefit from the engagement and facilitation resources, as well as the tips on how to make sure your career benefits from your speaking adventure. As you can see, the Speaker Concierge service is designed to support your entire conference presentation experience. Be sure to look at the other PD Bytes tutorials and follow EDUCAUSE Speaker on Twitter to get great tips and resources. In addition to connecting with us via Twitter, you can also email the Speaker Concierge, and if you have any questions specific to your conference, you can find the designated conference speaker liaison by going to the speaker information page for your conference. And if you ever have questions or want to find out more about any professional development opportunities at EDUCAUSE, be sure to send us a message at pd at edukaz.edu. This mini tutorial on how to prepare for your EDUCAUSE conference session has been brought to you by EDUCAUSE Professional Development. This is Shannon Smith saying thank you for speaking at our conference and be sure to look for other PD Bytes to help you get the most out of your relationship with EDUCAUSE.